Now that you're beginning to work from home more often, you definitely have been looking for a correct desk setup that suits yourself. If you're like myself, you're just looking for a station to set up your laptop, plug in your hard drive, and that's it. It's a spot that you make FaceTime calls from, it's a spot that you do editing, it's a spot that you write documents, etc., etc. Stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did exactly that. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Wave Gretzky Show. If you're new here, my name is Alfred Romero. And for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out what to do with this empty space in our bedroom. I knew that I did want some type of workstation. However, I never really seen anything that really caught my attention. I need to jump onto something. There are a couple items at Ikea that I decided that I would like to pick up today and figure out what I wanna do exactly with this space. If you've seen the last couple videos that I've been putting out, I've been doing videos literally on my couch, just sitting there, trying to do that with a massive echo. And I think the echo is probably just as bad here, but it's not as worse as what it is in the living room. Nonetheless though, let's jump over to Ikea so we could buy a couple of these items, come back here and set this thing up. This isn't gonna be some massive gamer station. There's not gonna be any mounted wall monitors or anything like that. I just need something super simple for my MacBook for editing and for having a recording station to do so at. And yeah, let's jump right into this thing. So I'm gonna be making three major grabs here at Ikea. The first one is going to be the storage that's gonna hold up half the table and that's going to be the Alex drawer. I know you have seen that time and time again on YouTubers, desk setup pages. The second thing I'm gonna be getting is the wood that is gonna be the Carl Carlby, Carlby wood. It is a kitchen tabletop so you know it's gonna be super sturdy. And the third thing I'm gonna be grabbing is the leg for the other side. And I think I'm gonna go with the odd vault. Odd vault? I don't know. After the storage, the other legs, and the tabletop, not including a chair yet, I am at a total of $261.83. Not too bad, $250 for a whole table setup, not bad. I had to come to a warehouse so I could pick up the table because there was no on site at the San Diego location. So that's what that was all about. Yeah, now we're gonna head home and build this. So like I said before, this is a kitchen tabletop. It's definitely like heavy duty, like you can hear it. It's not hollow. It was definitely a drag to get it up here, up the stairs. It is heavy for sure. Um, so I knew that the length was 74 inches. However, I think that when I get the chance, I'm gonna slice about 10 inches off of it. So that way I can have a shorter disc. But I know the 74 inches will fit because I measured it, so I'm not really worried about that. I just didn't really think that I needed this much desk space. But the wood is nice either way. They have a darker version of this, but because of the whole COVID stuff going on right now, 
They don't have anything in inventory at Ikea, so yeah, I just went with the lighter one. I'm surprised that I even got the Alex drawers. Um, they had just gotten a shipment yesterday. I did not plan that. The Ikea gods were just with me. So now I guess I have to build the drawer. Let's do it. So I am basically finishing up for the day. I'm pretty exhausted. I built all three items, well not really the table. I still have to probably get that cut if I decide on cutting it down another 10 inches. Um, I'm gonna put this together. I'm not gonna show you guys right now. I'm actually going to continue this over to the next day. So fast forward, let's jump to tomorrow. All right, so we ended up going with the Philips Hue Shape Light LED Strip White and Color Ambience Light Strip Plus. 80 inches, that'll cover the length of the table. Second thing we ended up picking up was cable management. Yes, indeed. Do need these, super necessary. And also I ended up finding this one a little bit different from the Philips one I had picked out. This one now has the USB ports, which I like that a lot better. They are a bit pricey, coming out to $86 after tax. So that does bring my overall budget up a little bit. However, I know that they're gonna be well worth the investment because these are not gonna burn out anytime soon. So after a little bit of messing with the app, I finally figured out how to adjust the lighting and getting it connected properly. I thought I was connecting to my neighbor's light for a quick second, but um, it identified the LED strip as a bulb and then I connected to the bulb and then sure enough, it was this one. Nice, we got this going. Alrighty, so basically what I have here is the blue compass um, boom arm. I think it rotates full 360 degrees and it retails for about $99, 100 bucks. And attached to it, I have the Shure SM7B dynamic microphone and that retails for about 400, I believe. Um, I did get this one off Facebook Marketplace and I happened to pick it up for 350, so I saved myself 50 bucks there. Again, these are two items that I actually already had before this build even started, um, months and months before, so I don't consider that as an investment. If I was building it right now, I wouldn't have jumped on this, definitely. Um, audio is definitely a different beast. I wanted to show my face when I was saying this because I really do want to put emphasis behind it. If you're just starting out and you know nothing about audio, don't like jump into like getting the top gear. That'll ruin the budget really quickly. This setup is like a $500 setup alone, uh, not including the XLR cable that's attached to it and not including the adapter to go from analog to digital. Um, that could be a Focusrite or either a Zoom. Again, if you're looking for some type of audio setup for your desk, this is definitely like not the video for it. I'm solely focused on the desk and the setup of storage as well. Um, I just happen to have this and I'm going to be using this in the future of my setup. So fortunately, I set myself up for success and I went through my camera drawer and ended up finding these cable management. I didn't even need to buy those other blue ones. These ones look a lot nicer and they are fresh. They must have been from a pack I must have bought years ago or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this one off and put this one right here. <laughs> All 
There are a couple of things that I wanted to explain before I let you guys go, and that's I don't have a mouse or a keyboard. Now, the reason being is I love using this trackpad and I just love the keyboard that's on the Mac already. I've tried multiple, multiple times to use the Apple keyboard and the Apple mouse, but something always just brings me back to using the trackpad and the keyboard that is built on the MacBook already. I like it. I like the way it sounds. I like the way it feels. Another thing that you didn't see here is speakers. I have headphones right here in this drawer down here that I use for editing. And if I'm playing any music, I have my JBL speaker, which is right in the back of my laptop. My MacBook speakers work more than fine for me. I'm not an audio specialist. I do know how to manipulate audio a little bit, but for me, I'm cool without the speakers. The last thing that I don't have here either is a monitor. Again, like just like the keyboard and the mouse, I used to try and operate with a monitor. I actually had a dual monitor setup that I just couldn't get the hang of uh, liking. Um, again, I would go open my laptop, plug it in, and most of my work would be done off the MacBook itself. I wouldn't even be using the two extra screens, but that's just my workflow. Everybody's workflow is different. But again, this is just for a very minimal, minimal setup. So I want to make it super clear that I'm not set on this chair specifically because of COVID and all the lack of inventory around the world. The chair that I wanted was not available until late November. So yeah, just going to have to wait it out or wait until I find something a little bit better that I like. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It would mean a lot to me. And if you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. I hope I earned that subscription from you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.